TAFE training is receiving a record funding boost in the COVID crisis with several campuses set for a facelift. But WA manufacturers say the government needs to think bigger and the real future for jobs and the economy should be built here. All right, so that's your fit. You're up straight in. Squeeze. A morning when the trainee becomes the teacher. That's it. Ah, there we are. The Premier touring the Balga TAFE campus. Pretty, pretty right. Yeah, not too bad. As the government builds on its economic recovery plan. Training and TAFE is the lifeblood of industry across our state. $167 million is being spent on upgrading training facilities at TAFEs across WA. Balga and Joondalup getting the major facelifts. 1,000 people will be employed. It's also about the pipeline of jobs for doing the building, so for doing the renovations of these TAFEs. But the focus on post-COVID jobs has drawn criticism from local manufacturers, saying the government needs to think bigger and act now. And we want them to know that, that, that there are companies in here that can actually build the future. The hard border has forced some companies to revive local production, but battery maker Magellan Power, who supplies to the likes of Western Power, claims about 98% of its products are still being sourced overseas. Instead of going overseas, they can look there in, in their own backyard, which is us. All components are WA made and Magellan wants help to push big companies to use local producers. We don't want any handouts, we don't want any grants, we don't want any of those things. With 65 employees in its Bibra Lake warehouse, it says it can hire five times more. The Premier says an announcement is expected in the coming weeks. Whether it's capital works, whether it's support, whether it's incentives, there'll be a huge investment. And there's some good news tonight on WA Jobs. Tracy, new stats show WA weathered the COVID hit better than every other state. Well, Michael, the ABS figures show payroll job losses from mid-March to July. For WA, payroll jobs dropped 3% during that time. That's better than the national average over the same period, slumping by 5.5%. Unsurprisingly, Victoria was the worst hit, taking a knock of more than 7%. Most of the jobs lost were in accommodation, food, arts and recreation. The good news, the worst of the national slump was recorded in March, with data indicating 35% of the lost jobs had been recovered by mid-July. That is encouraging. Indeed. Tracy, thank you.